Hey guys, what's up? This is Karan here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel and in this video, I'm back with another video and I'm going to show you that how you can enable one UI notification shade, one UI notification panel on any device running any Android version. Like in this video, I'm using Redmi Note 5 Pro which has Oxygen OS installed and notification drawer or notification panel looks like One UI, Samsung's One UI. You can also enable this, you can also install this One UI notification shade on any of your devices. How to do this, I'll try to show you in this video. Let's get started now. Okay, so as you can see, this is my Redmi Note 5 Pro in which I have installed Oxygen OS and uh, I have one UI notification shade installed. And you cannot say that this is not the original one. This looks like the original one and overwritten the default one. It looks pretty interesting. All the things are here, your system icons, your quick setting tiles, Wi-Fi, mobile data, battery saver, do not disturb, torch and a lot more things. All the things are perfectly working. If you click on search, you can search on Google from here. If you click on settings, you can directly move to settings. I think it's working. Yep, it's working too. This one is the all the things mainly are perfectly working. You also have the option to customize these things like button order, button grid, helper setup. Like if you want to choose the button order, you can choose hold and drag to add tiles, which looks very, very cool and interesting. If you choose button grid, you can choose the settings from here in the app in layout. You have the option to choose the quick settings icon shape like circle, circle outline, circle gradient, circle hello, teardrop, rounded rectangle, squirrel or hexagon. Whichever you like, you can choose that one like if, if I choose this, it will ask you to these kind of things. So don't buy this. Okay, I think it's done or not. Just simply click on hexagon. I tried hexagon and it looks like this. Looks very interesting and cool. If you want to change these things, you can choose like big clock position, left, center or right. And you can see a lot of things are there. I think these will buy, this will ask you for upgrade. But all these things are free like brightness slider and header. You can choose like this. If you want brightness slider here, you can choose this one. You have to just allow all the permissions and then you will be able to do these kind of things from here and looks very interesting all kind of things it will look like same one way the clock widget is also here the center and you can customize all these things from here this is all from the short video how to install this the name of the app is one shade custom notifications and quick settings you can simply search on Google Play Store for one shade and you will easily find it, open it and just grant all the permissions and it will show you like this. Here you can customize the layout like quick setting icon shapes and a lot more things which I have already shown you. And here you have the option to customize the colors. You can choose the dark colors, you can choose the light colors, whichever you like you can choose that one. You can choose the background color from here too if you choose red one. It will show you like this, which looks very bad actually, but this is how you can customize all the colors. You also have the option of active tile color, dim behind color and a lot more things. Some things need paid subscriptions, but you can easily adjust without paying any things. You also have the option of heads up. You can choose heads up, which looks very interesting and extras. Some extra options like backup and restore. You can choose the custom carrier name, custom profile pictures. And this is how it will show you look like some ads are there. Just disable this because we're using a free version. So you can see some ads here. You can choose the override system panel setting. You can also choose the override wallpaper if you want to override fingerprint gestures and force screen brightness. A lot of extra options are there. These are the things you get here. Also have the option of edge trigger, some extra customization options which I have already shown you. This was all from today's video. I hope you like this. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to watch all of my videos very quickly. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.